A pleasant good afternoon to all of my brothers and sisters. I greet you once again in the wonderful name of Yahushua Hamashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and Savior who died for us. Please join me in the King James Version Bible, Psalm 19, 7 through 10. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is true, making the wise simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandments of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yes, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Who can understand this error? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. So I am here again because I thought this was going to be my last, one, the last, the video before this one was going to be my last video. But I don't believe that was my last video because I heard Whatever I heard in the spirit, my brothers and sisters, I come to share with you. Um, I just want my subscribers to know that I am still praying for them individually. I'm going down the list of names that I took down from the description box. And I am praying for you individually. And you also continue praying. Have faith and do not lose faith. Jesus Christ will answer every one of your prayers. Okay, so I have not forgotten you. I will continue praying for you. And you pray for me as well. Okay, so on February the 22nd, 2023, I heard in the Spirit that our bodies are a living sacrifice unto the Lord. You can get that in Romans 12, 1. That our bodies are a living sacrifice unto the Lord. I also heard in the Spirit that the wicked shall perish. And we know this is all over the Bible. The Lord remind me that world war, world war soon. He said, world war soon, sweetheart, lights out soon. World war soon, sweetheart, lights out soon. So my brothers and sisters, I have been warning about the darkness that is coming. And the war, again, is coming with the darkness. So prepare yourself. For those of you who don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, the darkness will be in unimaginable please seek seek him while you have the time now is the time for you to prepare to beg for mercy and ask him to forgive you of all of your sins please prepare jesus christ is coming and the darkness is coming as well okay my brothers and sisters the lord reminded me again that lights will be out soon so i'm telling you and i'm reminding you that lights will be out soon and there's world war three coming I also heard in the spirit infectious diseases. We know in the book of Matthew chapter 24, um, Luke 13, Luke 21, sorry, and Mark 13, that the Bible tells us there will be pestilences. And we know pestilences are diseases, and the Lord told me infectious diseases are here. So infectious diseases are here, my brothers and sisters. Please take precaution. Continue in prayers. Because we are in the dark, one of the darkest hour right now, my brothers and sisters. Repentance is needed in order to get into the kingdom of heaven. Um, I also heard while praying, I was praying for Christians who are doing bad things, who are sinning in the sight of God. And I heard the Lord say that it will be bitter for them. Now, when you go to the book of uh, Revelation chapter 3, you see the church of Laodicea, uh, lukewarm Christians, and Jesus Christ say He will spew them out of their out of His mouth if they do not repent and turn away from their sin. There are many of you who call yourself Christians and who are not living righteous in the sight of God. Please repent and turn away from all of your sin. You cannot be in the church, and you cannot be in the world. You cannot serve two masters. Is either you will love one or hate the other. You cannot drink with a cup of God and drink with a cup of Satan. 
God gives you liberty, which means freedom. So take that liberty and choose wisely. Choose the Lord Jesus Christ because he's the only way, the truth, and the life. He's the giver of life. He is life itself. Without him, there is no life. So please seek the Lord. So for the, the lukewarm questions, I am here letting you know that the Lord Jesus Christ said that it would be better for you. I heard this in the spirit when I was praying for my Christian um, brothers and sisters. And for those of you who do not know the Lord, it will be even better for you just the same. So seek the Lord, repent and turn away from all sin. Do not confirm to anything of this world. Everything in this world is just temporary. But Jesus Christ in heaven is everlasting life. Okay, this corruptible body will become incorruptible. And this mortal body will become immort immortality for us. We will reign and live with our Lord Jesus Christ. And he will rule over us. He is King of kings and Lord of lords. So please be obedient unto the Lord. Because like I always said in some of my videos that obedience are one of the keys to heaven. We must obey the Lord. Why do you think the world is in so much turmoil? Why do you think people have diseases and because of sin? It's because of disobedience to the Lord. Disobedience is what have us where we are today. Do not let Satan, that fallen angel, that demon, take away your crown. Seek the Lord Jesus Christ now so you can have everlasting life with him. The church of Laodicea, the lukewarm Christians, repent and turn away from all sin. Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. My brothers and sisters, keep hope. Keep on praying. Keep on praising his name. Believe and trust in him. And he will show you the way. God bless all of you. And have a great day and happy Sabbath. Bye-bye.